$15 when you're ready to buy one. Okay, problem three, finding the line of best fit. We're gonna do this one more time, but now I'm gonna teach you how to do it on your calculator, okay? If you use your calculator, it's gonna be the perfect answer. Okay, because your calculator is, well, it's smarter than us. No doubt your calculator is smarter than us. So it is going to find what we call the line of best fit. Now there is a long, drawn, drawn out process, way more difficult than what I did over here on this page with you. There's a really long, drawn out process for doing this that I'm not gonna bother to teach you because your calculator can do it for you. And I've taught you a way that works pretty well. Okay, food. You researched the average cost of whole milk for several recent years to look for trends. Maybe it's gonna go up, maybe it's gonna go down. I guarantee you it'll go up. The table shows you the data. Let's look in 1998. I don't know how old were you guys back then? Were you born? I don't know. Maybe you were one or two. In 1998, the cost of milk was like $2.65. In 2008, just a couple of years ago, it was $3.77. So yeah, you guys should be able to notice that the price is going up. Okay, so this is going to be a positive correlation. It says, what is the equation for the line of best fit? How accurate is your line of best fit? Now the good news is, I've already wrote the directions down for you. You can just sit back and watch the video right now. But what I want you to understand is they started in 1998 they actually let, for whatever reason, they let 1997 be year zero, okay? So when they did 1998, they had to let X be one. When they did 2000, they had to let X be three. All right, so you just have to make sure that you find out what the quirks are. How are they changing the numbers, okay? So they let 1997 equal zero. So let's look at the chart. I'm gonna walk you through how to do this. Okay, you gotta be able to do this on your calculator tomorrow, so watch carefully. Follow our steps. Use the stat feature, it's right here. Well, I guess you can't see it very well. You can read your notes as I go along and then you can just watch what I do on the calculator, okay? It says use the stat feature. Watch the button I'm gonna hit, it is right here, stat. And enter in the data. You hit number one for edit. Now if you have anything in your list, you go up, hit clear, hit enter. You might want to pause the video and write that down. If there's anything in your lists, you go up, hit clear, hit enter. Do not hit delete. Okay, you might want to pause the video and write that down. Um, now what you're going to do is you're going to type in the values. So I'm going to go up to this chart and I'm going to type in my years, okay? So 1998 is year one, 2000 is year three, 2002 is year five, 2004 is year seven, 2006 is year 9, 2008 is year 11. Go over to the second list by hitting the right button. Now you're going to plug in the price that the milk was, okay? 265, hit enter. 289, hit enter. $3, enter. 301, enter. 320, enter. 377, enter. Okay, so I have all of my data in there. Now you're going to find, and this is nice, your calculator has those points in, in, in its function. Your calculator knows that those are points. And you should see they are lined up perfectly and I hit enter after the last one. Please take notes on this. Step two, you're gonna hit stat one more time. You're gonna go over to the calculate feature and you're gonna go down and let's see what we've been doing. See where it says L-I-N-R-E-G? That stands for linear, which is a straight line, and regression, which is a type of correlation. AX plus B, that's like MX plus B. So we're gonna select number four by hitting the number four. Now when you get to school, your calculators might have a lot more than mine. Yours are a little more advanced than mine. You just have to hit enter until you get these values. Do you see the A value? The A value replaces M, so it is your slope. I wanna write that down. Your A value is your slope. Do you know what that means? Take a look at this. Since that's your slope, that means that is about nine cents increase every year. That's a nine cents increase of milk every year. The B 
is your y-intercept. Okay? It doesn't really relate to our problem at all. It just helps us make the equation perfect. Actually, you know, if you really want to know, b is what the predicted value would be in year zero of 1997. Okay? If you want to write that down, you can. b is the, um, this would be what they predict 1997 to be. Okay. R squared and R tell you how well your data fits. <clears throat> how accurate is your line? Well, let's take a look at R and R squared. <clears throat> 